a Cuban-born immigrant whose family fled the Castro Revolution. He is a former U.S. attorney in California and began President Barack Obama's first term as Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. He will have to restore trust in the department after many key Democratic constituencies came to see it as the vessel for some of Mr. Trump's most contentious policies, such as separating migrant children from their families and building a wall along the southern border. Top immigration officials in the Obama administration recommended Mr. Mayorkas's nomination as a way to build support with the immigrant community while satisfying moderates and career officials within the agency who are looking for a leader with a background in law enforcement. Ms. Haynes served as deputy director of the CIA in the Obama administration before succeeding Mr. Blinken as Mr. Obama's deputy national security advisor. She, too, is a former aide to Mr. Biden serving as Deputy Chief Counsel to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee from 2007 to 2008 while Mr. Biden was chairman. Ms. Haynes also served as counsel to Mr. Obama's National Security Council, helping him navigate legal issues around counterterrorism operations and pressing for more restraint to reduce civilian casualties, if confirmed. Ms. Haynes will be the highest-ranking woman to serve in the intelligence community. The director of the CIA, now led by its first female director, Gina Haspel, reports to the director of national intelligence. Ms. Thomas Greenfield is a 35-year Foreign Service veteran who has served in diplomatic posts around the world. She served from 2013 to 2017 as Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs. Just as important in the view of Biden officials is her time as a former Director General and Human Resources Director of the Foreign Service. They see it as positioning her to help restore morale at a State Department where many career officials felt ignored and even undermined during the Trump years.